The next expected update for iOS is 14.5 with lots of new features in it. But today, Apple has released iOS 14.4.2. To do that now, so close to the expected release of iOS 14.5 which could land, frankly any day now, tells you that the company thinks there's something very important to address here. Here's what the update contains and how to get it, with Apple's full security advice at the bottom of the post. This update is for compatible iPhones, with iPad OS 14.4.2 for compatible iPads. Compatibility for the phones goes back as far as the iPhone 6s, including iPhone SE, both the first and current editions, plus the seventh generation iPod Touch. For iPads, you're good if you have any iPad Pro, iPad Air 2 or more recent, iPad Mini 4 or newer and iPad from 5th generation onwards. Updating is easy. Go to the Settings app on the iPhone and under General, choose Software Update. Then it's Download and finally, Install. It's another small update, like iOS 14.4.1, so it won't take long. What's in the update? Like iOS 14.4.1, this is all about WebKit. Again, it's because of active exploitation of an issue. The fact that it's arrived so suddenly indicates it's a problem that needs to be fixed and straight away. Apple says, impact, processing maliciously crafted web content may lead to universal cross-site scripting. Apple is aware of a report that this issue may have been actively exploited. The fact that it's been exploited already adds to the urgency. It then goes on to explain that, this issue was addressed by improved management of object lifetimes. If you didn't understand that, no worries, nor me. It's explaining how Apple has sorted it, assuming it has, and I'd rather leave the details to Apple, wouldn't you? There's also been an update for earlier iPhones, called iOS 12.5.2, which is for iPhone and iPad, indicating the issue has affected iPhones which aren't able to be updated to iOS 14. Is it a good idea to install iOS 14.4.2? The urgency sounds like you should, but I'll leave the answer to that question to Gordon Kelly, who'll be analyzing exactly that shortly. Why not sign up for my Apple Unboxed newsletter, bringing you insider information, reviews, tips, comparisons, news and rumors about the Cupertino giant? Out on Wednesdays. In the latest issue, the rumored release date for the iPhone 13, tips and tricks for Apple Notes and the Breathe app reviewed. Plus, new iMac rumors, cool links from around the web and a one-minute review of Apple Watch Series 6. You get the first three issues free and you don't need your credit card to sign up. Read on for details of what was released in earlier updates. Previous iOS 14 updates This was released less than three weeks before iOS 14.4.2, on Monday, March 8. It was a small update with one function to fix a vulnerability in WebKit to intercept malicious web content. Apple said it was a memory corruption issue that was being addressed. Released on January 26, this update had many elements.